Hello guys, what's going on? Today I'm going to do something a little different. It's going to be closer to a tutorial instead of just a demo of something what I've done. It's going to be writing a neural network that models the XOR function. The XOR function is a Boolean operator which takes as inputs two Boolean values and gives us output to one Boolean value. So the inputs are, for example, Boolean 1 and Boolean 2, which can be four combinations. Either they are 0 and 0, 0 and 1, 1 and 0, and 1 and 1. So what the XOR function does is it will, for two zeros, output a 0. Two ones, it will output also a 0. And for the others, it will output a 1. The difference with the regular OR function is that this one will not be 1, but will be 0 instead. The XOR function is interesting to make a neural network for, because it has non-linear behavior, which means that it's impossible to compute the output by simply taking the sum of the inputs multiplied by some weight. Therefore, the network has an input layer, a hidden layer, and an output value. The hidden layer is there to module the nonlinear behavior. The input values, either 0 or 1, get propagated through the network by multiplying them with some weight. In this case, all the weights are set to 0. Next to the weights, we also need a bias value, which is shown within the neurons. The bias is used to shift the intermediate value in a way that causes the output to be roughly between 0 and 1. Now let's go through some code so we better understand how this works. This program both contains the code to set up the neural network and to train it to be able to compute XOR values reliably for any input. At the start of the program the setup function is called which will randomize the weights and the bias values to some initial value. During the training phase the randomize function will be called in a loop and after every iteration, the new weights will be used to compute the values for all the inputs. And we will see if the new weights are better than the previous ones. We don't use any fancy backtracking algorithm to do this. Instead, we simply reset all the weights in every iteration. Of course, for more complex problems, this approach should not be used. Now let's see what happens when we run the code. We can see that after only a few iterations, the total error decreases to a value of 1. But we actually want it to be a value of 0, so something must be wrong in our code. One part is still missing from the neural network. We didn't add an activator yet. Activator functions are used to add non-linearity in the neural network, which we will need to model the XOR function. I use the hyperbolic tangent function here, but you could also use an other activator, like the sigmoid function for example. When we run the code again, this time the error will converge to zero. If you like this video, please make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. It really helps. I will be making all kinds of artificial intelligence related videos in the future. Until next time, peace.